Bear Tutorials, making a touch sensitive circuit with bare paint. Hi, I'm Peter and today I'm going to show you how to make a simple interactive circuit with a triple five timer and some bare paint. The triple five timer is a fun and versatile IC or integrated circuit that can be used in several distinct ways. However, there are loads of cool interactive circuits that can be made with this tiny little chip. Today I'm going to show you just one of them. Here is a triple five integrated circuit and you can see that it has eight pins and in the top left hand corner is a small de depression which indicates that the, that top left hand corner is the first pin numbered one and going down that left side to the bottom would be pin four and then directly across in the bottom right hand corner would be pin five and then going back up the right hand side all the way up to pin eight. So what you're going to need for this tutorial is a pot of bare paint, a paintbrush, a breadboard for connecting your circuit on, 9 volt battery and a battery clip, triple five IC, a ceramic capacitor, two large resistors more than one mega ohm each, a smaller resistor for your LED, an LED of your color choice, a couple of jump wires, and four of these very useful paperclip wires which um, you can learn how to make on BB's tutorial connecting to bare paint check it out on how to do that and finally a couple pages of paper so you can paint your circuits with your bare paint taking your pot of bare paint, a paintbrush and some paper we're going to get started so the first thing we need, we're going to need to do is to design our touch sensitive buttons you can think of them as a line of paint with a gap in the middle and at this gap is where we're going to place our finger where we will connect the circuit through our skin. So from this idea I've taken, I've made a basic design of a button with all the connections situated along one edge of the paper. And there's a slightly larger section where the gap is where this is there to suggest a touch point. While your design is drying, it's time to take out your breadboard so we can assemble the circuit. You can download the schematic from the text in the tutorial page so you can follow along. So if we've got everything connected up on the breadboard and we've inserted our paperclip wires, we can just check that everything works by tapping the blue paperclips together to turn the LED on and then tapping the yellow ones to turn it off. If this works, then it's time to connect the paperclips to our, our pa piece of paper with our touch sensitive buttons. And everything should work. Touch the, if we touch the points, we should get the light on and off. And voila! Okay, so now you should have your simple touch sensitive circuit working and the LED will be going on and off when you push your painted buttons. Please experiment with creating much more interesting graphical buttons using your paint and make sure to send them to us at Bay Conductive so we can put them up on our community space.